Greetings to you, beautiful soul. Let us see. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands. And this is a money reading for a Zodiac sign, Cancerian. Do take the messages that apply for you. Use your discernment. View these messages as entertainment. Thanks for tuning in. All of your support is abundantly appreciated on this channel. All right. So the Page of Wands is uh, you're doing someone doing business with someone. I'm also feeling you're attractive, so let us see how that pays off. The moon card is telling me that you have um, what seems like secrets or hidden enemies, or yeah, there there may be people um, upset or angry or people with hidden feelings or or karmics. But I feel like this energy is just to like confirm that you are an intuitive psychic being right here with the moon card you know already what is going on what is happening around you and um there are some downloads coming in there's something about your father maybe something yeah a, a, a father or a capricorn a knight man or a police officer this is giving me strong pisces energy there's some type of a collaboration or something that is taking place that you don't know because people are talking to get a moon card here and maybe with family and you don't really know what's going on or they think you don't know but like i say you are highly psychic your your instincts are on point you may be like the the, the wild spirit of the family the hermit yeah they for sure they're doing things in secret and um they were trying to do like whatever they were doing let's see with the hermit card what this is saying the hermit card is someone that is a bit shrayer um spying watching trying to take your information so someone was trying to belittle you someone was trying to take your information to another person um behind your back victim and this person that was doing this, let's see, it could be a water sign, Pisces. What were they saying? Their intention was not the best, dissipating. They want to have um, like a one-up in some way, isolation. And they were just thinking that you were out of the, you were out of the loop. Like you didn't know what was going on. But you, I feel like you are, an, like I said, naturally intuitive person. You could be an earthbender. You, you like you can hear through feelings like the the girl from Avatar. She's blind, but she can feel she's barefooted. That's the energy. You're well grounded. You may be connected to copper, copper wire, copper color, copper in some way, shape, or form. There are people that don't know that you're this strongly intuitive. And um, you're going to find out the truth that they were, whatever they were plotting. But I feel like it does not work out. They may be saying you have anger issues, but it is because they plot, they're devious, you know. They somehow think that they can plot against you. Um, guilt. I feel like these people, they, won't, they don't want to admit to their, to their wrongdoings. They're going to be in denial. You're going to confront them. So let's say you confront them and they're going to say no. That's not how it is. But I feel like they were, they're they going to be stopped now. They're, they're being put a stop to. Because it's like you turn the light on on them. Or you caught them red handed or there's evidence. But even though there's such evidence and you see with your own two eyes. <laughs> these people are like sitting there saying nope. I'm seeing a woman sitting in a couch, could be like a mother, and she's outright denying that what you're seeing is the truth. And um, But you're not trying to force anyone, I guess. You just want them to know you know. So they feel like they're aggravated. Now they're going to want to tell you the truth. They may want to come and confess to you. Now that they see that you put your foot down or you're grounded, they know to stop messing with your energy because they were somehow, do, like, for real, something about sleep, doing something behind your back. They may have been thinking they were doing it for your favor, but I feel like they were being controlling. The, the truth that they want to say to you now as a type of confession is that you think you're perfect and you have everything together and you know everything. And then this would be shocking to you. 
because these people i feel like they've seen the struggle that you've been through you know but they're going to reveal to you what feelings they've been holding on inside about you certain corruption and so you're going to also see like your hidden enemies revealed to you right so maybe you've been praying for that you're also realizing who is your true family. You're going to see that there is someone that truly loves you and supports you. You're going to know who is fake from who is true by... You're going to know when you put your foot down, how they respond, how they react, when they know for sure that they can no longer get any of your energy. When they know for sure that, like after you've confronted them, they know where you stand. You know, then they're going to come out and say, well, you think you're better than us and show their anger. And it is a, it is also another manipulative tactic, bittersweet, because they now think you're going to run to them and argue back and forth with them and blah, blah, blah. And the reason why they came out to show their real colors is because they just they realize that you were done. You really cut them off. You're not you know the truth and you're just not dealing with certain things anymore. They were just really upset and mad that you cut your supply from them and um you 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 are valuing yourself. Okay? All along they were sitting pompous and you were the one that would go out there in the field and harvest and do the hard work and put your neck out there. And they were there like something about cotton grief. Alright, miracle. So let us see. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. You're gonna get a gift, or you've gotten a gift, and um, or this is your insight. Like I say, your gift from your ancestors, your inheritance, your natural gifts. You are naturally made beautiful as well. This is also why, like, if you feel like people like the people are guilty and jealous of that, you're gonna hear people telling you their true feelings. Like you, you. Look how good you look, but they're saying it in an upset way. Look how you're physically fit. Even though, like, I'd right, say, this is, a, this is something that they're put, trying to put in your face, even though they at first didn't agree with it. Um, let's say you decided that you're eating better or you're going for a run every morning. And every day I tell these people, like, come for a run with me. And they're like, no uh-uh you think i want to get you want you think i want to lose all this you know whatever they see and then now uh, you're gonna find out that after you you keep working on you you keep leveling up you keep getting physically fitter and after you put your foot down and you speak your truth they're gonna use it against you not because you're so fit and so athletic you you get all the attention you know what i'm saying it's something that you decide to work on in yourself to make yourself better and they're trying to make you feel bad about it that's the energy too like that's why i'm saying this or or let's say they did something bad to you and you finally spoke out and say remember these things that you did to me and i'm just taking time to heal and because they see that you're pulling your energy away they're upset they feel like they're losing control but i just like i say i feel like you're doing what is right for you because there's someone that would have like drag you all the way to down right that's how i'm feeling expansion but instead i hear cloud instead you're expanding you keep growing and letting go and moving forward ascending right workaholic you keep investing in yourself putting in that work you're ending cycles you're deciding to keep running the race you're deciding to break cycles you are deciding to take your life into your own hands the facade card and stop like playing a part of the story that they wanted you to play and they're upset that they, you, you, they don't you can't they don't they can't get you to sit in there in the role <laughs> gratitude all right mysticism and they're upset that they cannot control you ten of swords yes this is the truth that they, you keep finding out how many times these people have you know jabbed you in the back over and over again recovery and you have to keep building yourself up building yourself up and i'm telling you perseverance you keep persevering you keep getting <laughs> deep down sad it was these people that were doing it to you vanity spells all right they even were doing but like whatever vanity spells on you they wanted to break your spirit they wanted you to not shine they wanted you to not be in your purpose 
but it was written that you it was to, you were supposed to be risen up is the energy that was written and these people are recognizing it that your name could even be in the bible something is just stained it's meant to happen from birth so because i feel like they've been trying and trying and trying is the energy these people you're so close people to you i'm telling you growth were trying to hinder your growth and even when you were down and cross still trying to crawl away they would still try to kick you while you were down there but i feel like there was a time when you you went into sol your own solace isolation you started to pray yes angels spirits guides the ancestors were with you you started to listen to your inner voice not your outer voice your inner self you took your power away from them discovery right and you could feel them getting tense and tense like i told you they, they're doing black magic karmic the magician card look look how, how eerie this is and it's at night time it has something to do with fire and chanting i'm not playing bittersweet and they can't tell you the truth they put your name in the mouth and they do all kind of things some put some sweet it may have something to do with honey self-worth and the birds for sure the truth is coming out about these people and I feel like we, it's going. Whatever they did is going back to them because some something about fire or cleansing fire here. You keep because you keep healing yourself. You keep working on yourself. You keep meditating. You keep praying, fasting. Yeah, you keep being a beast, dominating. You keep returning <laughs> spells. You keep. I say that with a nervous chuckle. You keep breaking free. You keep doing it over and over again. Over and over again. Your time is for surely coming again. You're going to get another break. You're going to get another opportunity to, 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 to for stardom, for fame, for success, to make a breakthrough. You're going to get another opportunity to rise and to make money. You're going to, I feel like it. You're going to break this financial fast that you were on. And I, as you do so, a lot is being revealed to you. Let's look at the Three of Pentacles. You're getting what you've been praying for. Wow. And I feel like a lot of people, they don't want to admit this thing. Abundance, creation. And there's something about your name. Your name being written. Or your name being written in the Bible. Or someone just noticing in the Bible that... Like someone that was going against you, they end up going and looking back in the Bible and going, Oh my gosh, this person's name was actually written down in the Bible as a, as someone that will outlast. And all of these things they're realizing, I'm for real, reveal. The truth about you is being revealed. They're realizing that you may be a light worker, an archangel. Someone is just seeing you with different eyes. Someone that rejected you is knowing now that you are the truth. You are a living truth. That, so they're saying to the, look, enlightenment. They're saying to themselves, ah, so this is why every time I try to go at this person, they keep coming back up. This is, they're not stubborn. It's, they don't, they're not dealing with shame and they don't, it's not that they don't have any pride or whatever you call it. It's just that this person is, um, is, is made out of a, a material that they must keep getting back up. You're armored up, spiritually protected. You're a fighter. Seven of Cups. And you have options out here. You're going to see a lot of options, a lot of collaborations with new, new people, new opportunities moving into your life. Mm -hmm. So keep searching in your soul space and you're going to be taking your power back, waking up from... A, a spell or whatever mysticism you're getting a break from whatever wanted to keep you confused locked down and suppressed sometimes sink down into the feeling if you don't know what to do you, you don't have to struggle with it allow it to be let people think that they have one over you let them laugh ha 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 thinking that they're reigning over you powerfully because believe me they're gonna feel it you're going to feel it when you rise again and again and again. Grief. Yeah. They're going to feel it. Miracle. Because you're not, you're not to stay, you're not the soldier that stays down. You're, you're, you keep reliving. You keep coming back to life. Because you're a magician. You're a chemist. 
and they don't know it's like these people they don't know what it is that is within you that is so um indestructible oh you keep restoring yourself what powers have you got perception all right leaving these messages here thanks for tuning in and i'll see you in the next one beautiful soul all is well all is within you take care